That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, November 4th. Netflix is going to be launching their Netflix Games Division, which will be for mobile devices and available for free to all Netflix subscribers. It will be available for Android first, then iPhone. And to access games, access games, users can just go to the Netflix app, click on Netflix Games tab, and then select their desired game and download it to their device through the phone's uh, app store. Now, there'll be five games that will be available at launch. They are exclusive to Netflix. Two are based on the Netflix original show, Stranger Things 1984 and Stranger Things 3, the game, while the other three are generic titles like Shooting Hoops, Card Blast, and Teeter Up. And, you know, the fact that they've got some Stranger Things games is a hint that Netflix will continue to create games based on shows and their stream that uh, they put out on the streaming platform. So as Netflix originals become popular, perhaps the accompanying games will as well, which means... We might see a Squid Game game coming very, very soon. Um, HBO, they uh, just uh, announced their upcoming series, Music Box, and also announced that DMX, Don't Try to Understand, will be one of their first docuseries that will drop later this month and will feature unfettered access into the life of DMX and details um, of his abusive upbringing, his struggles with addiction, his faith, the roller coaster ride that was his journey to becoming one of the biggest rappers in the world, and of course his death. Now the documentary is set to be released November 25th on HBO as well as HBO Max and other docuseries that will be included in the Music Box series are also about Juice World, Alanis Morissette, and Kenny G. So it should be pretty interesting. Speaking of one of the greatest rappers in the world, the Shakur Estate has announced that a brand new, fully immersive museum experience based around the life and legacy of Tupac Shakur will be coming to Los Angeles in 2022. Tupac Shakur, Wake Me When I'm Free, will showcase his music, poetry, and never-before-seen artifacts in a 20,000-square-foot curated space, very similar to a to a contemporary art museum. It's described as being part museum, part art installation, and part sensory experience. Sounds so cool. The exhibit will be designed to take guests through a myriad of surround sound spaces that are rich with rarities embedded in technology and will delve into the greater meaning of his activism, music, and revolutionary art. This is so cool. This sounds so great. This exhibit will only run for a limited time. It's slated to visit a number of U.S. and international cities over the next couple of years. It will open up January 21st next year in L.A. And pre-sale tickets, which you know are going to sell out in seconds, will be available this week. You can buy them online November 9th, and general tickets will go on sale November 12th. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Wednesday. Lock it in again tomorrow right here on the all-new KISS 96. That's what we do for love.